Bueno, vamos a ver si ya podemos terminar la escena Y dice que diga la frase El Max Y luego lo del programa del bochorno Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Places, everybody. And action! Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Del plato no se puede hacer. Aquí, Goodness, sí. who left this lying here? Hey! A ver si podemos hacer com Open up. comida de boñiga. Sería un... Sería un muy, muy macabro, eh. No, ¿dónde está la, la moñiga? ¡Ostras, tío! ¡No, no me ha dado tiempo de ponerlo de la vaca! No ponerle el, la, el, el, el casco! ¡Cut! ¡Amateurs! Let's get the set back vale, where it pues... was. Bueno, vamos a coger el plato. Pero no vamos a poner la boñiga todo. Is this thing on? Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross-out humor this time. Ready? Action! <laughs> Vamos a coger ahora la pantalla de la lampa. Vamos a ver si tenemos otro, no, una posibilidad para hacer lo del plato. Ajá. I know you've got a... Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la lunch. <laughs> and frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know? It was back in my army days. Ahora se me olvidó cómo hacía que le mordiese la cola. Ah, mira, vaya García solo. Say, what's this? He said Mugu Gaihan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Oh, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong. So. My goodness, this is disgusting. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. That's one word for it. Hmm. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. <laughs> really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Arrefrescando nice su musa. You ¿Quién guys? es su musa? Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Bien, un promo finalizado. Ahora tenemos un vídeo. Perfecto. Podemos ver en casa. Un programa de cocina. 
Buah. Y luego tenemos el programa del bochorno. Operación bochorno. Vamos a terminar primero ese. Y el plato que lo ponga ella. A ver, aquí... Tengo lo, lo de la canción de Piper. No, no sé muy bien qué tengo que hacer con ella. I am blue. I'm blue. Como el grupo ese musical que dice I'm blue. ¿Cómo se llamaba el grupo? Ahora no me acuerdo. Nah. No. No. Oh. Last time we saw you, you and your diminutive former child star brothers were in the thrall of a megalomaniac hypnotist with bad hair. What have you been up to since then? Well, after you hit us over the head, repeatedly, our careers have taken an upswing. Clearly. Hey, being a judge on Embarrassing Idol is a tremendous opportunity. I'm feeling the magic already. Tell me, old judge, what gruesome qualities do you look for in a singing performance? Fraternity. I'm voting for Peepers no matter what. He's my brother. The one who didn't forget my birthday today, I might add. I said I was sorry. Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm glad somebody remembered. I said I was sorry. What more do you want? A treat would be nice. Isn't this also St. Boniface Day? Patron saint of carnivorous plants and spiky things? I think that's next week. What kind of perks go with this gig? Do you get fancy dressing rooms and candy sorted by color? Ooh, craft services food. Have them bring me a roasted Canada goose stuffed with lightly bruised olives, please. Not likely. I ordered a cake for my birthday, but they never brought it. I think the craft services crew all went in to watch some Irish. Oh, That's interesting. Like all we got was a basket of tomatoes. Quiero un pastel, así lo podía sobornar. Y luego hay una puerta que es un un programa de cocina. What kind of preposterously un-American weasel are you that you don't like tomatoes? I like them just fine, but they don't like me. What do you mean? I once spent 12 hours in the bathroom after mistakenly eating a cucumber that was sitting next to a tomato on the plate. Say no more. Can you eat those little cherry tomatoes? They're small. No! No tomatoes, tomato juice, tomato paste, nothing, or I'll be out of commission for hours. Bueno, eso es interesante también. Enjoy your judging. Catch you later. Uh huh. What can you tell me about this contest you're judging? Not much to tell. People sing, we judge them. You want to know more? Ask the director. We judges don't have to concern ourselves with operational details. Tell me about the criteria you use in judging a singing contest such as this one. I'm a stickler for technical proficiency. Usually I look for a high note. Someone who can hit a really high note always impresses me. I see. A ver, aquí veo so, dos opciones. Today, huh? See? Some people pay attention to these things. Oh, come on. I already said I was sorry for forgetting. El Weisers parece que va a votar a su hermano sí o sí. Pero lo podemos... Si en el, de, si en el programa de cocina hay algunos tomates, le podemos traer algunos sin que se dé cuenta. O ponérselos con un plato y provocarle diarrea. O directamente ganarnos el favor del otro. Entonces seríamos el Max y él contra él. Bueno, no I sé, ya confess, I don't really understand how you could forget Wizard's birthday. I mean, aren't you guys triplets? Technically, yes. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. If you'll excuse me, I've got some lines to color outside of. It's your life. 
Bueno, vamos a dejar esto para el último Quiero mirar lo de cocina primero Para hacerme una idea de mis posibilidades Por de concurso de... Ah, hay más Concurso de preguntas Y uno de co programa de cocina Vamos a ver el de cocina That's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis. Or start a circus of grease squirrels! I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Hey Sam, can I? No. It's like a scene from Heidi. How does that bird manage to stay still for so long? That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby Show. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the I cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. Just no, go. Oh, um, yeah. Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Una tarta, mira esta. Today we're baking a cake. Let's visit our rack of ingredients and add flavoring to the flavoring pail. I'm pretty sure that's a pot, Sam. Max, let's leave the Pero cooking to me and the eating to you. Ingredientes Gomina Grano de uranio Lana Bueno, vamos a hacer Tentáculos de calamar ¿Qué más? A ver, lana Manto de teja, grano de uranio. They also go great in chex mix. Riñones dingo, amianto en cuero. Who can forget the asbestos sprinkles? This stuff isn't just for school lunches. Real kitchens use it too. Manteca, aceite de bisón, ácido sulfúrico. And your taste buds, and your esophagus. Pink or red dye number two. If there's not at least some possibility of malignant tumors, it's not real bachelor cooking. Bueno, si quieren ingredientes, tienes que echarlo todo. No sé qué es esto. MSG. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest. You're just about there. Bueno, yo creo que ya se entiende, ¿no? Tengo que echarlo todo, pero duras en solo. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Every meal has to include some of the standards, like monk paste. Don't forget that saying: monk paste for the taste, hope best for the zest. What? Ah no, al horno ya me digo yo. Now do we broil it, Sam? Right you are. Chao, casi todo. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time, one gorgeous delicious cake, ready to be binged upon or shared amongst friends. Oh boy, let's take it with us. What? 
Welcome once again to Cooking Without Looking, the show where we okay. use no, 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 no natural ingredients whatsoever and still make something you guys can choke down. Filling in for the inconveniently food poison Chuck Flagon, these guys. Thank you. What do we? Bueno, me va a pasar. That's all we have time for today. Goodbye, adoring. Tenemos la tarta. Yeah. Vamos a, Vamos a cargarnos al, al otro. Sabía que era mejor esperar. Vamos a cargarnos al al Wizard, Wizard. Me lo voy a cargar. Y eso que parece un, un, un estanque de radiactivo. How about some cake? Cake? Oh boy! Perfect for my birthday. There's no tomatoes in it, right? Nope. <laughs> Y en la, 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 una tarta para, para hacer el increíble juego Vamos a ver si me lo he ganado Bueno, yo creo que sí Bueno, voy a decir feliz cumpleaños por otra vez por, por si acaso Bien, creo que me lo he ganado Para ganarnos el otro necesitamos tonos agudos Y este saco... Y creo que no lo hemos ganado, vamos a probar Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. <coughs> Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call. Bueno, yo aquí no veo nada. Que tengo una nota aguda, eh, pero bueno. <coughs> Eso ha sonado Eso ha sido bastante agudo, eh She's at brunch today with some baboon. Parece que lo triste siempre es agudo Road to someday, bits of me are strewn And let's hear from our judges. I admire your courage even more than your singing. You've still got my vote. Thanks, little buddy. Nice, but I'd like to see some technical proficiency. Hitting a high note, for example. As it stands, Peeper still has my vote. ¿Cómo te atreves? Pues, pues, agudo. I really think you could do this professionally. Thanks. But Peepers is my brother. No puede ser. There's no way I'm voting for anyone else. Okay, I can see that. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. Pero de hecho, no te agudas. No me lo puedo creer. Y el otro le da el pastel y todo, y aún así... ¿Me puede hacer un guiso? No, no, ya la podría, ya... Voy a ir al programa de las preguntas. Porque yo no comeré nada, quería una tarta y punto. Y además no he visto, en los ingredientes no he visto tomate. Look, Max, there's the door to my reset. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. 
Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Do you believe in magic? Cause I do. A ver, Majareta, ¿qué te pasa? So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <gasps> How do you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident Doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Six million three hundred and seventy-three thousand four hundred eleven point nine eight. Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. Te vas a enterar. Hugh Bliss is a big fat charlatan. Was he right? Big deal. Everyone thinks that. Oh? Think of something else. <laughs> Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Madre mía, que te está leyendo, que suene esto. Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me, do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, yeah you got it. Wow, you're amazing. What's your business with Myra? I'm to be a guest on her show, silly. Yeah, silly. I'm spreading the word about my new book, Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Take a copy when you leave. Can you just give us the ten word summary instead? We're on a pretty tight schedule. Ten words? Oh my! How about prismatology is the answer? Unicorns are pretty and rainbows too. That's ten. What's the story on this prismatology flap duo? Prismatology is only the greatest intellectual, emotional, and spiritual revolution ever to grace this fair planet. Thank goodness we have someone who can give an impartial assessment. Shh. Tell us more. Join prismatology today, and you too can experience the magic of true bliss. That goes against everything I've ever hoped for, and yet now I'm strangely attracted to the notion. Snap out of it, little buddy. We've got a case to solve. Say, you Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He hence the camera. <laughs> now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say, chocolate-covered puppies. A ver, so where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my! I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre! Ochre! No! Mauve! Uh, Bird Sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Rojo. Red, Fred. Ooh! I know what you think. Is it real, or is it illusion? Sorry to interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. 
I still love you. <gasps> Voy a para la cámara. Picture, you bless. No, te foto no. This? Instead of a new picture, we'll just recycle the old one. Save the earth. Sure, whatever. Gather round. Ahora está en rojo, ahora parece más una alienígena. Eso para la, para la, la otra, la chica. Life troubling your digestion, reality blocking your passages. Expel your troubles with Inetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. Esto es bueno. Already got Mejor no decir nada. I read it every morning on the can. Multicolored happiness indeed. Bueno, no cogemos ninguno. Inetics. Life troubles. Bueno, no quiero ningún libro. A ver el programa de las preguntas. Podio, podio. That's where I'd stand if I were the host, which I'm not. We've got a contestant, people. Hit it. What? <laughs> From somewhere <laughs> deep within the bowels of WARP, it's who's never going to be a millionaire with special guest host. Hugh Bliss! Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max! Listen, Sam, they love us! Welcome! Bueno, you know the rules. Aplausos. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire! Start loading Bien. the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain stuck with the most worthless trivia to a small Chilean Bosco. village for decades. It's true! Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one! If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? What the... F I'm gonna go with my gut and say, you bless. I'm flattered, but no, that is completely wrong. You lose. Esta pregunta This is tenía trampa. Odio este programa. We do have a fabulous consolation prize, a copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No, exijo no, una remontada. My burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. We've got another contestant. Hit it! You know, I'm going to million of dollars. Okay, are you... Here's the question. What is the mass of a solid dodecahedron composed of unrefined nickel three decameters to the side rounded to the nearest milligram? ¿Por qué no tiene re respuestas? Esto se dirá lo mismo otra vez. A ver. I'm going to go with my gut and say, you bless. I'm flattered, but no, that is No puede ser. We'll be Siempre las respuestas son lo mismo, ni idea, no lo sé. ¿Quién sabe? We've got another contestant. Hit it. Welcome back. Our next contestants are Okay, I Here's the question. How many grains of sand are there on all the beaches in the world, discounting those currently used in sand castles? I'd have to say chimichanga. Judges? Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you lose. We'll be right back after these messages. Voy a probar, voy a agotar todas las, las, las respuestas. Alguna tiene que dar con el, tiene que dar el clavo. Here's the question. What is the meaning of life? 
I'd have to guess. Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close. But no, you lose! We'll be right back after these messages. No se puede ganar a las paros, no se puede ganar. No hace falta algo para ganar. Se me responde preguntas estúpidas. We've got another contestant. Hit it. Welcome back. Okay, I... Here's the question. If a man sets out from the horse of light, how seconds will it be? I'm not sure, but I'll say false. That's not really a valid answer. You lose. We'll be right back. Comienzo a estar harto de estas respuestas, tío. We've got another contestant. What? Okay. Here's the question. What is the mass of a solid nearest milligram? I'd have to guess. Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close. But no, you lose. Vale, este no tiene coherencia. Una dice Huy Blais, uno dice la la la, la, la hermana malvada de Loren y el otro dice Chimichanga. Bueno, pues nada. Okay. Here's the question. How many in castle? Y aquí si no lo sé, a ver. I'd have to guess. Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Va, esto no tiene ningún oh. sentido. We'll be right. Pero son respuestas estúpidas. Me va a buscar a otro. Look over there. It's Myra. <gasps> Where? It's written right above the door. I don't have time for this. So how does this game show work? Did you just ask me how a game show works? Uh... A contestant comes to the podium, the host reads them a question, they get it wrong, and they leave. Just one question? More time for commercials that way. Es que... See you later. Me parece That's que no se puede ni acertar. 